Holding the powerful accountable. Governor, did the DEP keep you in the dark? Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is Target 8. More than 30,000 signatures on a petition call for the director of Hillsborough's Pet Resource Center to be fired. The online petition cites Target 8 reports that for nearly a year exposed highly questionable decisions by the PRC. Yeah, we've been telling you about the PRC, suggesting to taxpayers who've picked up strays, just let them go, and adopting animals to violent felons. And last week, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews showed us some video of a dog that actually attacked a child in a manager's office. So there's this series of reports that you've been doing, Steve, and it seems to be leading to some change, perhaps. Well, I'll tell you something. This is another case of the PRC adopting a dog out to a convicted felon who admitted he'd used the dog for illegal Hog hunts. And oh, by the way, that video is now fueling a fire. A three year old playing bald in the office of Pet Resource Center volunteer coordinator Christine Odell is attacked by a dog. Odell and the boy's father, Craig Horner, another PRC manager, allowed the child to play by the dog, which was moved to the office because it was stressed in the kennel to begin with. The idea that tax dollars are going to an entity that then isn't doing the right thing for uh, a set of animals, that's very offensive to our folks. Aaron Viles is a grassroots organizer for an online social network called Care2. 30,000 people signed a petition on Care2 to fire PRC director Scott Trabatoski. It's not just a standalone petition hidden in some corner of the internet. Uh, it comes on the tail of lots of good investigation. For 10 months, Target 8 has documented problems at PRC, like multiple examples of neglected dogs sent back to their owners, including this poodle that had such a bad skin condition, the PRC wasn't sure if it was a poodle. The dangerous dog bite list was not updated for two years, nor was a list forbidding abusers from owning animals. Target 8 exposed a two-year backlog on license tags, yet Director Trebitoski threatened to fine a veterinarian because she contemplated not selling tags. Animals were removed from a secret shelter after we revealed they and staff were exposed to dangerous chemicals. The response so far from county commissioners to the petition Send this on to Mr. Trebitoski for his input. To see uh, the, you know, that documented track record, the investigations that have shown you know, very clearly that poor decisions are being made uh, without any sort of response is, is troubling. Close to 40,000 people have now signed that petition. The petition went to all seven Hillsborough County commissioners. Both Commissioners Stacy White and Sandy Merman responded to the sender, stating they were sending off the comments to PRC. It seems rather circular in yeah. this case, right? Does, so yes. what is the county administration saying about any of this, all of this? Well, let's talk about their response to the child being in the office with the dog first. Okay, the county advises it has no policy about employees bringing children to work. Really? PRC leadership has advised staff, animals, should not be placed in high traffic areas or offices. And that sounds like, let's run a shelter 101. Oh, and, oh by the way, they, they put the dog in the office, but nobody's been disciplined at all. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Steve. Stay on it. I know you will. And if you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, you can call his Target 8 helpline number. It is 1-800-338-0808.